Hi everyone, my name is Wojciech and I'm from Oracle Developer Relations team. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a very short and quick deployment of this clock onto the container instances. Let's take it away. So this tutorial is going to be split into three parts. First, we're going to clone the repository into our OCI console. Then we're going to build our Docker image and push it into our container registry. Finally, we're going to end up on deploying it to the container instances. Let's take it away. First, let's log into our cloud console and then open developer tools and cloud shell within. Once our cloud shell is open, we can run our git clone command and call clone the repository. Once the repository is cloned, we can then run a cd command to get into our freshly cloned repository. We can run a clear command to just clean up a bit of a screen so we have a bit more space. Next, we will create a docker container. You can check out the composition of the docker file within the GitHub repo. After the container is built, we need to generate an authentication token. I recommend using code editor within the developer tools. This way you can store your variables or manipulate your statements Once you're, ready to generate your Once you're ready to generate your authentication token, make sure to replace user ID uh, with your user OCID, which you can get from your profile. Next, we need to echo your namespace. We can use the command from the guide. Once you have your namespace, it's time to log into the container registry. Use docker login command and add your region prefix. Input your details when prompted, including your username and authentication token you generated earlier. Now it's time to tag your container. Use docker tag command. Finally, push your image to the container registry with docker push command. Congratulations, you have now successfully compiled and pushed your image to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Container Registry. We will use UI to deploy our app. So first, let's click on hamburger menu on the top left corner on the screen. Next, click on the developer services and click on container registry. Click on the actions and then change to public to make this repository public. and then click on the container instances. Within there, click on create container. Make sure that you are in a compartment that you want to deploy it. Add your container a name. Choose the compartment, availability domain. You can decide whether you want to create your virtual cloud network and subnet. If you do create one, make sure you open port 80 because this is what we exposed within our Docker file. Click next and in the next section, we can add the name of our container. Once you're ready, click select image. By default, when we push uh, containers, they're sitting in the root directory. So make sure you change con con uh, compartment and then select your image. Click create to confirm. And then let's give it a minute to create it. Once the icon turns green, it means that our container is ready. 
In our case, because we created a subnet, let's quickly create a rule that allows communication on port 80. To do that, I'm going to click on the subnet and then click on the default security list. I'm going to add an ingress rule. I'm going to specify my CIDR block. Keep IP protocol and then change destination port range to 80. Get our description. So let's go back to our container instances screen. Copy, up, copy public IP address. And let's open it in a browser. And voila, there you go. Our container instance is up and running. Let's test that it still works and it's correct. Let's add the event. There you go. Entry is added. Nice and easy. Thanks for watching.